Hey guys, Thinking Master 51 here, or Night Hill Man, here to do another video. I'm excited to say I've gotten the green light from NG Phil of All Go Do, All Go Box, and I'm really excited to show you some of his content. I'm, a, I'm allowed to show all of his content. Originally, I was going to start uploading videos, but then I didn't want to do it without his go ahead, and I'm happy to say, once again, I have that go ahead, which is awesome. He's an awesome guy, uh, great dude, listens to um, input. So I definitely encourage you to go check him out. What you're looking at right now is an NG Phil FAL from Bul Belgium. It's an FN gun, obviously, FN FAL. If you're interested in this gun uh, before or after this video and you want to take a look at it as I describe everything, this is going to be kind of an instruction video and almost a review and just kind of let you guys look at some gun porn. Um, the description box below will house the download link for I'll go do I'll go box or I'll go do the program excuse me and the program link or the um, username link for ng Phil so uh, let's get into this video what you're looking at is a great representation of the FNFAL um, it is a 308 battle rifle it's not a carbine uh, the caliber kind of kind of turns it off from being a carbine um, so it's like I said a 308 gun it's a big gun comes in five um, round magazines 10 round magazines 20 and 30 the 30 round magazines are made from an American company um, that actually machines the lowers and uppers and then also makes parts kit guns which is kinda cool what you're looking at again this is a 20 inch model so you can see it comes out all the way here I would definitely be interested in um, making or seeing an SBR variant from the uh, American company as they look really mean really crazy, but I love this nonetheless. I love the classic guns It looks great as you can see he even has the gas system Port up here, which is great stuff. I love that even the sling mount looks awesome Carry handle and everything what he's done as it's a little harder to get more three-dimensional uh, Shapes on this program and you can see he's rounded off a lot of the edges makes it look really clean very uniform and I love that uh, what he also did was added a Galil style charging handle and given it a true left hand charging. A lot of people on Algo Do and Algo Box or Fun, if you're familiar with that, what they'll do is they'll do a flip image of the gun, and I'm not necessarily a fan of that. What he's done is great. Um, it's a Galil. If you don't know what a Galil is, I'll uh, probably throw up a picture or have a link in the description if you don't know what the Galil charging handle is. So it's really cool. Um, and then also in this video, I want to take a look at the internals of the gun and show you what he's done. What I'm going to do first is I'm going to take off those clouds as it kind of botches up my frame refresh rate. So what we're going to do is what you um, is you're going to flip the gun off of safety and you're going to grab this little nub up here, the Galil star style charging handle. You're going to rack that bad boy back and you could see the guide rod for the bolt up there. It's very cool. It, this gun fires in fully automatic and semi-automatic, which is really cool. This variant has a 20-round magazine, and it's very awesome. It has the AK-style paddle release, which is really cool, and it even works in this model. I really like that. It's really cool. Um, so, uh, without further ado, what you're going to do is you're going to hit Enter, and your gun's going to work. And as you can see, the ejection pattern is very solid, very, very good quality. Um, a lot of effort went into this. It looks great. Now, the, what's something to note is when I take the screen, um, or I'm sorry, when I change the skin and the layers, the ejection paddle pattern will get slightly erratic, and the cases will sometimes end up in the firing mechanism. It will do that occasionally in slow motion, but he designed it for real-time um, firing, which is definitely evident, um, and it's kind of harder to design around slow motion or fast or whatever what have you um, and I've tried it it's a little bit more difficult but what he's done is very solid now the only problem I've had with this gun so far is that in occasionally in semi-automatic it runs away which means the uh, sear isn't engaging the hammer and the firing pin so sometimes it runs away like I said the inertia from the bolt going home sometimes sends that firing pin forward a little bit the firing pin block doesn't always engage it but you know what there's always problems with these guns they're never foolproof um, so once again you pull the hammer and as you can see this also has flash and uh, you can see that right there that I did not pull the trigger it ran away a little bit 
But NG Phil was the uh, creator of this flash, and as you can see, it's very awesome. He even, and then again, unfortunately, it does run away occasionally. It does that more when I'm running my screen capture software, so that's not really indicative of how the guns are going to run when you download it, or anybody, like I said, anybody. Um, so, he also, on his, a uh, couple other of his guns, he's actually added a sound for the firearm discharging, which is really awesome. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at the mechanism. going to do take off that screen. As you can see in here, you have a series of springs, uh, laser, which activates the flash when the um, bullet goes through. And you can see it's a very, very nice trigger housing setup. I like that a lot. It looks very solid, very clean, very efficient. The only thing that uh, is not really all that correct to this gun, which you can't really replicate in this is that on the a real FAL, the uh, recoil spring actually angles down into the stock. It's uh, supposed to conserve space um, and also supposed to redirect um, the energy from the shot down into your shoulder more efficiently. It's not really a big deal. But it looks very cool. I, I like it just because you can definitely see there was a lot of effort that was put into here. You can see the sear, the hammer, everything. It looks really solid. I like it. And uh, I'll show you guys it firing. See, as you can see, that ejection um, is a little erratic when you take the primary skin off. And then you guys can take a look here as to how the gun operates. I'm going to slow this down just a hair and let you see how the gun functions. So you pull the trigger. The bullet pushes against this little uh, piece right here, which in turn operates the op rod, pushing the bolt back, which is really cool. It almost simulates an AK style operation, which I really like. I think it's really cool. Um, once again, you can see that it pushes up up here. And once again, when you slow it down, it does not like the function, but almost every gun I've tried to do this with has had that um, error. You can see the extractor and the case design is very accurate, very solid. I like it. Um, once again, it's just a very solid built gun, in which you can definitely tell that this gun was not just based off of something else. He definitely took the time and effort and put it into here. I like on his other uh, long guns, in his AR-15, there's actually a locking bolt mechanism, which is really awesome. Um, this had something more aligns of a G3 locking bolt, so you can't really simulate uh, the bolt locking against the receiver like you can with an AR, so it's a little bit different. But it's a very solid design, and I really like this gun. It's really cool. So I'm going to let you guys take a look at it in fully automatic, and I'm just going to let the rest of this magazine go, and then show you once again the um, operation of extracting the magazine. So you're going to flip the safety, or the uh, selector, level to, <laughs> selector lever to fully automatic. You're going to hit enter, and then the bolt, or the gun is going to go off. So um, there it goes. And it looks like that's all she wrote. Yep, that's all she wrote, guys. Okay, well, it looks like I may have misspoken. This gun does actually have a bolt lock function, which I really like. This is pretty awesome. I think maybe it may have short stro stroke the first time, but it does have a lock bolt function, which I really like. That's really cool. So, um... That is NG Phil's FNFAL, and at, he has put on the page that he's improving this gun all the time, and I believe it. He always um, improves his guns, especially with input, which is pretty awesome. So I definitely encourage you guys to check this out. Look forward to more videos like this, um, as I will be put, putting more content up. I'm really excited to do this, and I really like my screen capture software. So thanks again, NG Phil. It's a great gun, and uh, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.